Good morning, I'm Leonardo Puglisi. This is Six News. Today, the government launches its controversial new COVID safe app, but there are still major concerns about privacy. Daniel Andrews tells Victorians COVID-19 restrictions will continue despite two Australian states already easing lockdown laws. The future of community television is still unknown with the deadline for saving the remaining stations running out fast. Three NRL stars fined for breaching lockdown laws by going on a camping trip, the league saying they're disappointed. And all states have now begun term two, so will it be online learning or will it be traditional school? It's just past 10am, the six morning news starts now. Thanks for joining us on this Thursday. Let's get straight to the federal government's controversial new COVID-19 app, which officially launched at 6.30pm on Sunday, surrounded by controversy. The health minister says by 10.30pm, one million Australians downloaded the app, despite fears about privacy and what the data would be used for after the pandemic. And we'll have a special report on the new app in our Sunday bulletin. Premier Daniel Andrews has told Victorians that COVID-19 restrictions will continue despite at least two Australian states already easing lockdown laws. Queensland and Western Australia have plans to reopen some businesses as well as allowing more outdoor activities. And the NT is also reportedly working on a plan to reopen their pubs. Phoebe Russell spoke to us earlier from Brisbane and says people there are taking the pandemic seriously. I would say the only problem perhaps is that along the river and through the exercise areas it's completely full of people because no one has anything else to do. Overseas now and relatives of those killed in last year's White Island volcano eruption say they plan to sue Royal Caribbean Cruise Lines. The ABC reports New Zealand's volcano monitoring system had raised the alert level from 1 to 2 with warnings that if it had erupted, anyone on it would have a very slim chance of surviving. However, all tours continued. The country's government said investigations on the disaster could go for over a year. Back home, three NRL stars have been fined by New South Wales police over a camping trip. Authorities say Latrell Mitchell, Josh Adokar and Tyrone Roberts Davis were fined $1,000 each for the camping trip. Images were posted to Instagram by one of the trio. They have since been deleted. The league said in a statement they were disappointed by their behaviour. Community Television has launched a campaign to save the remaining two stations on air. The future of Melbourne's Channel 31 as well as Adelaide-based Channel 44 is right now unclear with the two stations set to lose their broadcast licences at the end of June. Five community channels were ordered to be shut down in 2014 but small extensions have seen those two survive. The new campaign aims to shine a light on how important local programming is to the Melbourne and Geelong community. The federal government has no alternative planned use for the spectrum community TV occupies and will be unable to do anything in its place for years to come. There is no upside and no explanation. School has now returned in all states and territories. And apparently we cannot bring you that story right now. So you know what, let's go to tomorrow's forecast around the nation in Darwin, a top of 34 tomorrow with some cloud. Sunny in Brisbane at a top of 23, but the warm weather doesn't continue for the next few capitals. Sydney mostly cloudy, 16. Canberra starting at 6 degrees and getting up to a top of just 7 with light rain. Similar situation in Melbourne and Hobart, both reaching tops of 11. Warming up slightly in Adelaide, 16 degrees, but the sun comes out for WA. 24 in Perth and 36 in Broome. That is your Friday forecast, and just before we go, I want to thank Michael and all the team at Melfield Video, who are now replaying our Sunday Bulletin on their YouTube channel. You can catch that on Monday at 8.25pm on Melfield Video. The link to that is in our description. And that is the six morning news for this Thursday. For the latest news, sport and weather, go to our Facebook and Instagram pages, and for all our YouTube top stories, use the hashtag 6NewsAU. I'm Leonardo Pugliese. Thanks for your company. Have a good day.